friends, my name is Logical Legends and today we are drawing a deep sea goddess named Melinda. Let's get started. I really enjoy the ocean. Well, not the ocean, but water. I actually do quite well despise the ocean for its undoubtedly salty waters. The ocean tastes pretty bad. My first experience with the ocean was getting splashed in the face and tasting the deplorable water. I was a toddler. It is interesting how memories are warped over time. I can see a dark, foreboding sky above me in that memory, and I think I just saw a picture because I can see the memory from third person. I have been very intrigued by dreams lately, and I do plan to draw some in the future. I do not think I've had any salt-filled dreams, but there is fresh water sometimes. Anyways, point being, ocean tastes like tail, and pools are superior form of swimmable water. Man, I gotta tell you, script writing is hard. I guess I could just freeform it with some off-script shenanigans, but I'm not well versed in the art of off-scripting. I guess I just have to start doing it to be good at it, huh? I guess I could just tell a story. Hmm, let me think. Dogs kind of stink sometimes, figuratively and literally. But in this case, we're talking figuratively. I went to the beach a bit ago when I took the dog with us. Not the best idea because there were one billion people there being that it was a sunny day in the summertime. We drove four hours to the beach, and it turns out they didn't allow gosh darn dogs. So we drove another hour further to the closest beach that allowed dogs. There were less people at that beach, however, still too many people. One thing I have realized about my dog is that when she's in a new place, she wants to sniff every inch of the ground for some reason. As far as I know, she doesn't have any hound in her, so I thought that was strange. Anyways, she didn't like the water too much, she threw up in the car, so she didn't have any food in her belly, and we kept forgetting to bring the extra dog food we brought for her to eat out on the beach. She laid in the shade the whole time we were there. I coaxed her out from the shade, and she just ended up wandering too much. Plus, the people directly above us had a 7 month old dog that my dog wanted to play with, so I couldn't let her roam. Dogs are good for hikes, not a person filled beach. I decided to write some lore for the character that I drew, since I need something to fill the unending silence that would exist if I did not speak. This is Melinda, goddess of the deep sea. The king of gods and Melinda's dad noticed Melinda's striking creativity at a young age, and as she grew older, she asked if she could visit Earth. When Melinda was sent to Earth to check it out, she was very inspired and asked her dad if she could create some animals for Earth. Under her father's guise, she created bugs and the like, worms and grubs. These creatures fit nicely into the order that the king god had originally built, However, his most prized creatures, humans, were terrified of everything that Melinda had created. She continued to ask if she could create more creatures for Earth, but her father feared that she would just make more horrible creatures. So he deepened the oceans to the point where it was totally dark and told Melinda that she could make whatever she wanted down there. He then locked her and everything she created at the bottom of the sea so Melinda could express herself but not terrify humans. Melinda was happy, except there was a size limit to her creatures since the only food down there was dead whales and such. This upset Melinda, so she decided to make one big pet for herself. She named him Frank Furter. When her pet was about to die from starvation, she decided to begin to feed parts of her body to him, slowly corrupting herself and giving divine powers to Frank Furter. One day, she will be nothing but bones, and Frank Furter will rise to the surface to attempt to destroy all living land creatures, especially humans. When he reaches full power, he will attempt to slay the gods. That was my lore. Nothing super extravagant. I drew Melinda because I wanted to practice drawing humans. However, both angles I used were ones that I'm pretty good at, and the actual clear face isn't even really very human, so... Nothing lost, nothing gained. I still had fun with it, of course. I'm just proud that I actually did it. It hasn't been a month since my last upload, uh, probably. I really do want to do YouTube as, like, a full-time thing. It just seems pretty awesome, but I don't know. Anyways, I guess you guys get to see my elegant digital art skills. Not so happy with the background, but that ain't even important. So, you know. I'm pretty happy with the shadows. Of course, shadows are super hard, and I'm better with animals when it comes to shadows. And everything else. Digital art is fun, but tedious. This I need to get used to using my drawing tablet, so I can use that instead of my phone. Thanks, Ibis Painex. Well, there isn't enough time to write anything meaningful for the rest of my script. So, uh, how you doing? Uh, that's great. Are the uh, kids doing good? Oh, I, I see. 
How's the new job? Uh, very uh, exciting, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, hey, wh where are you going?